Hello, everybody. You know who I am. Fell in love with Carly. And I'm here just to talk about my hair journey, you guys. Now, I know it's been a minute since I um, released um, the first footages about my hair, of me cutting it off and having the revelation about everything. And um, I haven't been back with any updates yet. So, um, it's so much I could say about my journey, you guys, honestly. Um, I'll tell you what I'll do. This is what I'll do. I would just talk about things. And if you guys have any questions that you want to ask me about anything, I'm okay with answering questions about anything, you know? And um, let's just see where it goes from here. So first of all, I like to say this part about my journey. I remember hearing oh so clearly when God spoke to me and told me it was time to cut my hair. For those of you who are not familiar, go back and look at some of my profile pictures. Like the pictures I had locks, long locks beautiful locks and um i started getting the message from my creator it was time to cut my hair well i had been with my hair my whole life so i've never cut it off like that and um i haven't had a haircut in um uh, maybe 10 years or better especially not going bald right i've never seen my hair like that and so it had maybe been like a couple weeks that I had gotten a memo about cutting the hair. And I just didn't know what to do with that because I was kind of negotiating with God about it. Like, uh, how much? Maybe it's getting too heavy. Maybe I need to cut a little bit. And I just didn't know what to do about um, the whole hair thing. And um, let me see if I can get this to move on. That's a little better, right? And so I um didn't just cut it off. Um, my workout partner, my accountability partner said to me one day, what's going on with your hair in the back? Because the nape of the hair, the back of the hair um, was looking like rubbed off or something. But I thought it was the back of my jacket and the weather, you know, with the wool, maybe possibly. And it wasn't because then it ended up spreading to this part of the top of my head and locks just started falling out, right? And I was like, this is odd. Locks do break, but for some reason, it was just too many locks just coming out. And I decided to, let me look at it. Let's take up pictures of it. And I did. And it was like, oh my God. Oh my God. It was like, really? Hair just coming out. And I was like, wow. And so I noticed that I pull at it, tug at it, it just come out everywhere. And so I went to the doctor and then I went to another doctor. I went to another doctor and nobody could tell me anything, but it felt like an allergic reaction be because before the hair started coming out, I just broke out everywhere in hives. When I say everywhere, baby, I mean everywhere, everywhere. And then the hair started coming out everywhere. And so um, the dermatologist, a dermatologist told me <clears throat> it had to do with a supplement I had been taking from GNC. And it was like my body was allergic to it. And so and while it was taking its course, I had to just wait for it to take its course. And um, then it'll stop. I Meaning all the, just whatever hair is going to take, it's going to just take it. And, honey, you just have to wait. And I first, I felt defeated for a small second and I went home and slept on. I'm like, let me call my main doctor. And I did. And she got me in connection with another dermatologist <clears throat> that happened to be her friend and uh, one of the best, I'm sorry, the best dermatologist in the world. And um, this lady saw me on Zoom, spoke to me. I sent her the pictures along the way. Because I had taken pictures along the way of other, just just to see. I don't know what it looked like. 
So I sent it to her. And they said it was pretty aggressive. She let me come in. She took a biopsy of my head. She wanted to see what it was. Um, and it was an allergic reaction. It was also what she said was like two different types of um, alopecia. So I was like, wow, I don't know where that came from because people in my family are walking around with alopecia, right? And so I'm like, you know, I shaved the hair bald and I look beautiful with or without it. But I'm noticing now today that it's just a whole new look for me. It's a whole new routine. It's just all the way new. And though I love, I've done a couple of fashion shows since I've cut my hair, lost my hair. And I did a wonderful job. And it was today, getting ready to go out on a date. And I'm like, getting ready. And I had a moment putting my face on and hair on. And in that moment, I was like, I remember being a kid and you hear older women say, I got to go put my face on. <laughs> and today, it kind of dawned on me like, I got to go put my face on. Like, literally, I'm putting my face on. Okay, my eyebrows, it's time to put you on place and eyelashes, let me put you on and you know, my makeup, my hair, you know, just making sure that the hair is where it needs to be. And it's like, oh my God, I'm literally putting my face on. <laughs> and I'm not, a, I, though I love makeup, I usually, I traditionally don't wear makeup every day. I'm a natural beauty. I pride myself on having my own everything. And it just does something to me to be in a space where I have to draw my eyebrows or um, put my hair on or do my eyelashes. And it's like, wow, what used to be one of those things I never thought about today, I think about it. Like, just getting ready for the gym or my live broadcast. It's not just like, okay, it's time to just do it. Now it's like, I have to literally take my time to do these things and do extra steps that have never been a part of my life before. And then I go to put my makeup on and it's like, huh. This makeup is not even my color anymore. Whose makeup is this? And so I thought I was just kind of tripping. Like, oh, it's just, I don't know. And suddenly the kids, my children, they're like, mom, your makeup just don't look right anymore. It's just not the same. And I'm like, huh. I'm glad you guys said it because I thought the same thing. I had been looking at my makeup or doing my face and it's like something is just off. Like what is going on? I know I have to draw my eyebrows and everything. Maybe I have to get used to this new look. But no, honey, uh-uh. I go back to Sephora to grab me some Fenty. I said, can you just check my complexion? My children's like, it just looks orange. I don't know. Well, guess what? With the allergic reaction, I, my whole body peeled. Like, everything from head to toe, just just total, like, brand new skin everywhere. So with all that happening, it changed my color. It changed the skin tone. And so I had to go get all new makeup. And so I'm okay with it. It's like, oh, my God, I got new makeup. I put it on. I ran to an event. Okay, great. And then... This morning, I went to put my new makeup on and 
head out. I was like, this is so different. Like, I did the face, I did the brows. I took off lashes, but I started to put on liner, right? And it was like, oh, my new look is, is just so new to me that it's like, it just blew my mind. I'm like, holy moly, like, Ooh, is that in the mirror? And it's me. And I had to look in three, four different mirrors and then just go from mirror to mirror to mirror. It's like, that's really you. And it's like, oh my gosh, that's really me. And I've lost weight. Because I've been working out, people. Working out. Watch the reels. Carly has been working out. And then the new makeup, the new skin tone, the new hair, the new eyebrows, the new lashes. It's like the new cheekbones. It's like, oh, my God. It's, it's a beautiful thing because I do feel much softer, much more... Uh, in a place of peace and ease and it's just a transformation that took place with the hair um being cut off falling out you know it started falling first and then i cut it so So like, it's just been just a, it's just been a, a difference for me to get just to get from, um, to go somewhere to FaceTime to. I just, it's a different lifestyle for me now. I swear it's more. I thought it was a high maintenance thing before, but baby, now it's really high maintenance when you have to make sure the lace ain't lacing and your um, eyebrows are on and your eyelashes are on. <laughs> oh my God, guys. I just, um, I'm getting used to I'm getting to know this new Carly. If you watch my last video, um, she's called Resenta Ijonea. Even that part is just, I swear this new girl is just so sensitive and, and just, and just, um, open, more vulnerable. I mean, I'm just so open today and I'm much more softer. And my children have told me the same thing that I'm just, mommy, you, it's, you're different. Like since you cut your hair, since your hair has been gone, you've changed. And they're like, your tone, your voice, your this, your that. And it all feels fantastic. And at the same time, it's a little scary because I'm getting to learn new things about myself. And it may sound weird to you guys because it's like, okay, just the hair change. But for me, it wasn't just the hair. It was, it's been a whole journey of uh, rediscovering. Like I've never seen my bald head. I've never seen myself with no eyebrows. I've never looked at myself in that particular way and was able to say, hey, I love this person because I never met that before. I've never met Carly No Hair and everything. So I'm just grateful for all of you who are coming along for me with me in this journey of rediscovering and just Whatever God is doing with me right now, that you're a part of it, it means a lot to me. 
to see so many of you who are not even biological family members to me. You may never met me before. You may have never even, this may be your first time ever crossing me on a broadcast and you are sending your well blessings and love. I thank you for it because it's been so much support across the board from people who've never met me face to face. And I kid you not, it's been so much support and love and kindness from you guys that I just appreciate. And if you are a woman or a man, a person that have lost your hair and it's like a new discovery for you too, then why don't you just join me on my journey and let's talk about it together. Let's discuss all the new capabilities that we have and let's be okay with grieving the hair loss and the old person letting it go and stepping into a space of newness together. You support me and I support you. And I'm going to do my best to remain extremely transparent with everybody. If you are on my YouTube channel, my heart is going to be shared on YouTube. This is where I will share everything about my journey. I was trying to figure out how to set up, where to set up, where I could just talk to you guys uninterrupted about whatever my feelings were. And last night, I'm like, I'm just going to get in the car and I'm going to have a conversation right there. And I was like, well, how do I show up? Well, today, this is my look. Moving forward, we don't know. It just depends on the way the universe moves me. Um, but um, with that being said, my doctor did tell me that my hair should grow back and that um, she made sure that I got the best of the best treatment for my hair recovery. <laughs> So as I'm on Hair Watch Regrowth 2024, you guys can be a part of my journey with my Hair Watch Journey 2024 and try new styles, try new makeups, and just, um, yeah, I got to show y'all some, we got some pictures and some footage from even just me going to Sephora and that part of my journey. So just bear with me because it has been a little not this hair loss thing but there's been other things going on behind the scenes not with my health or anything guys personal okay so um that part we're going to go straight to this thing this part right here is it has its own entity of its own okay this is its own dba this hair this new hair journey um but um i've definitely dealt with some personal things so I haven't been, I haven't jumped back on here with you guys since I released my first video. And um, I was trying to shake um, a loved one hurt, hurt, getting hurt uh, kind of badly before I jumped back on here. And um, look, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I should tell y'all. And so, <laughs> I don't know. I might tell you. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. But so it, it kind of took a, took priority over me jumping on here. But I'm going to try my best to make sure I could prioritize time with you guys. Because this is helpful for me to, to be able to speak about what's on my heart with my, my hair. And... Um, the way I feel about it, okay? The way I feel about getting a biopsy done on my head and having a bandage on my head 
and having sutures in there and having them removed. How did I feel about talking to my children about my hair, um, possibly cutting it off because I knew it had to go? And how did I feel about my children witnessing my hair fall out and watching their faces look so traumatized? I want this to be the platform that I'm able to share these things with you. And I would love to share their responses to everything. Um, of course, this is still taking some getting used to. And so, I don't know. How long does it take to get used to this? Guess we're going to find out together. <laughs> oh. So, with that being said, um, you guys going to help me with all this, these new looks, these new styles, new everything. Because right now, I didn't really, I just put it on and I'm not finished even styling my hair. But in that moment, I wanted to talk to you guys about what was on my mind. Because it was just a lot in that moment. Like, wow, girl, you're different. Oh, shoot. And the kids are like, hey, mom. Yeah. It's the lipstick, right? <laughs> uh, What I'm going to do is go up here and get in the gym and um, go make some other things happen. And you guys, if you have not already, hit the notification bell. Please do. Um, I really would like you to be a part of the journey with me. Mm -hmm. Talk to me. I love when you guys leave me comments about everything. So let's, let's this, let's let this journey begin and uh, I have pictures that I'm going to share with you guys about everything so whatever I said I had photographs of you guys were going to get it here firsthand so um let's be sure to uh, hit the notification bell and subscribe uh, all that good stuff and um I'll be back okay I'm fell in love with Carly, and you know, I love you guys. Go ahead and love yourselves. Have a good day. <laughs>